um, welcome everybody to my channel so today I'll be treating answering a particular question that's on demand so you get to have a way to solve other related problems so look at this question you have suggest a masking agent for the analysis of iron the presence of aluminium so this is masking and we all know masking is a separation method um, 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 based on complexation so masking is an example of a complexation separation technique in chemistry so um, masking itself which is complexation um, is just a process of separating an analyte from an interferent the analyte is the species chemical species you want to determine or analyze or get its concentration so then you have um, the interferent the interferent is chemical species you don't want it to interfere in your analyte determination so the only way to prevent your interference from um, coming into play in your analyte determination is by masking it okay and masking it is binding it with a suitable masking agent so you have to know some examples of masking agents and the ions they can actually get masked so we have masking agents such as um, fluoride we have cyanide we have oxalate so fluoride specifically is used for masking um, aluminium iron cyanide is used for masking a number of ions such as um, iron zinc platinum all their iron forms okay and even silver many of it so oxalate is used for masking specifically aluminium and iron okay so now the question back to the question suggest a masking agent for the analysis of iron in the presence of aluminium now we can see here that fluoride fluoride iron is specifically used for masking aluminium why oxalate is used for masking both but in this case we want to analyze iron this is our analyte in the presence of aluminium this is our interference so we have iron as our analyte and aluminium as our interference so we don't need this we're going to mask this iron aluminium so how do we mask it now we all know that the masking agent here suitable is for the fluoride iron now there's one thing you have to do masking is more like binding it in an unreactive in an unreactive complex okay once it forms the complex you can actually filter it off you know get to analyze your analyte so how would aluminium get masked by this fluoride iron there's a simple formula I derived personally anyways a very simple one you can use to find what your complex is going to look like what the formula of your complex will be okay now that formula is minus 2x over charge let me explain this this only gives you the number the coordination number that that means the number of ions that will be surrounding your particular interference okay call it the coordination number now in this case aluminium has charge plus three okay or three plus okay so now i have x stands for the charge on the interference so i have minus two multiply by 3 divided by the charge what is the charge the charge is related to the masking agent now we have the fluoride ion to have a minus this is minus 1 
so definitely my charge here that of the interference is minus one so i have minus six over minus one which you get six this is telling you that the number the coordination number of the masking agent fluoride ion is six so all you have to do is write your complex formed when mask when masking the aluminum to be AO that means if you have AO3 plus this okay what you have is AL F6 since we just derived then you should have a net charge to easily get this it's very simple you can just subtract 6 from this or better still what is the charge of aluminum is plus 3 so definitely you need 3 minus to balance the complex so this is stable and can be washed off or removed from the solution in order for you to determine your analyte which is ion so this is just one way to show it so you have to show this as a suitable way of forming the complex or binding the um, interference with the masking agent so thanks for watching and feel free to ask your questions and respect all videos.